Hello Pisces and welcome to your uh, month of July reading. So, uh, I meditated on your energy and uh, the cards that came up. What Spirit wants to talk about. First card that I have, Eight of Wands. This is back and forward communication, I think a uh, straightforward movement in our willpower and our actions. After that, I have the world, so you're actually completing a cycle this month. And then I have the lovers. You are actually, after completing a cycle, you're actually going to take a decision inspired by your higher self um, into a new path. Under the Eight of Wands, I have the King of Sword. So that tells me that there's uh, here the, ele the energies. It's about movement, direction, and how to apply our integrity, our beliefs, uh, our goals in a strategic way. Under that, I'll show it uh, right away. I have the Seven of Cups and the Page of Pentacle. This is like there's a project, there's something I want to bring forward. I want to make moves about it and I want to be very strategic and very <coughs> clear mind, integrity about it. <coughs> but, sorry, behind it I have the, the Seven of Cups. So that tells me that Maybe that thing, um, since it's Venus in Scorpio, there's this project, this seed I really want to, you know, plant and grow. But, uh, you know, it could be uh, super successful or it could be a completely uh, failure. And there's this, the movement is stopped because of old wounds and old fears that maybe prevent you from seeing clearly and applying the moves that should be applied. So, you're starting the month like this, but right away there's this end of the cycle because I think you're becoming conscious of this. And clarity is going to come because under the world I have temperance and the six of wands. This is like, oh, I see the whole picture and I am victorious and that's the rebalancing of the ego I know I can do this I understand why these this was like that before I understand why I couldn't see clearly and make the moves clearly I know where it comes from I see the whole picture I understand the lesson now my ego is balanced I am not underestimating myself overestimating uh, the challenge or whatever things are balanced and under that I have that ace of pentacle with the eight of pentacle so that means that pentacle that you wanted to bring forward there it is and you are actually applying and working on it and here I have the six of cups six of, of ones six of cups willpower um, drive, ego, heart, love, giving and receiving, acknowledgement, um, opening up, heart chakra. Uh, there's a beautiful readjustment for you, Pisces. That kind of, I, I kind of feel a kind of now I see, now I know. And I'm deciding under the lovers. I have an ace of wands. I'm, I'm deciding I'm having a brand new uh, passion, way drive, way of doing things that is actually opening up a path in front of me. That seed, the way I'm going to apply it and bring my willpower to get it is going to be completely different. I, you're going to be willing to get out of your comfort zone of how you used to do things because this is going to be part of the past. You're letting go of something. Uh, I have death here. 
you're letting go of the way you used to do things that were maybe influenced by old wounds. And you're going to acknowledge yourself. You're going to see the whole picture there. And because you're going to acknowledge yourself, you're going to be acknowledged from the outside also. All right. Uh, eight of... Oh, I'm going to shuffle this a bit more. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Pisces for the month of July. Pisces for the month of July. Okay. Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Um, the Queen of Wands is the one that actually you know, it's the law of attraction, it's the, the law of manifestation, attracting our will, uh, what we want, how we align our energy into what we desire and what we want. Uh, so it's your feminine queen of wands, your feminine part uh, that was kind of directing the moves you were making okay and what you wanted to attract and what you wanted to have but there's there's gonna be like uh, something happening here show me the world let's understand that lesson a bit more mm, okay the world and the queen of pentacle queen queen uh, justice there's a big readjusting, uh, readjustment in your feminine. If you look at the lover's card, you have the feminine and the masculine. It's the unification of the two opposites. That's why it's Gemini. Light, shadow, masculine, feminine, etc., etc. The feminine character actually looks at the angel. Because the feminine, the queens, are at the gate between in the invisible between the divine and our reality inspiration comes from your divine feminine it passes through she's the one that allows it in like pentacle she will allow abundance queen of wands she will allow energy drive inspiration uh will and then the masculine looks at the feminine because your masculine side is attentive to the feminine and that will guide his actions. This is how, if we work in that perfect harmony, that perfect threesome here, divine, masculine, feminine, uh, then we, that's why there's a mountain. That's how we can rise and elevate ourselves. We all have this inside of us. It's not a question of men and women. No. Uh, whether you live this life as a man or as a woman is not important. It is, you have to have that balance within yourself. So here, there's a lesson you understand about your feminine. About what you allowed. Maybe what you allowed happening to you. Uh, the Eight of Wands... Uh, when it's, you know, upright, it is um, people contacting you, back and forward messages that are pleasant and that can be uh, grown. Um, if not, they can be unpleasant or even absent, you know. And the Queen of Pentacle, if she's not, uh, you know, upright in the sense of knowing your value, knowing uh, that she can generate that she can open the gates of abundance she will be always in inner insecurity and fear about what could happen financially or even in the projects i want to bring forward justice a rebalancing of your feminine so uh, no matter how much actions you can put out there if your feminine is not balanced you'll have no results 
whoops, or you'll have empty results. Like that would be like having pure ambition with no sense of connection with the whole, you know? Okay, lovers. Why is the lovers there? Okay, we have the King of Sword, King of Cups, Ace of Sword, Three of Wands, uh, Knight of Cups, and uh, Knight of Pentacle. Okay, we know the movement is coming forward because you will have the clarity, Ace of Sword, and you will actually apply it. So the way you're going to think at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month, your strategy, your, your, um, you know, your decisions out there are going to be changing. Show me the King of uh, Swords here. Knight of Wands. Okay. So, um, this is more reacting than strategizing. Being based on our wounds, um, making moves. You know, that's that would be like the email we send at two o'clock in the morning uh, because we're in our wounds. You know, um, the King of Sword needs to be extremely grounded and not in his reactions. Uh, you can see here that's going to be the lesson you understand. If you act from your wounds, uh, like that would be more reacting from your wounds. Moons. Well, your wounds are in your wounds. Uh, then that's probably the, res the cause of the results that you had before. Here, the temperance and the six of wands, this is by readjusting uh, your worth and your value, seeing the big picture, the Pope. Now your decisions and the way you will apply, open the doors uh, in, in life here, the Pope, this is recognition from the institutions, from uh, you're finally gonna get the recognition and the, the eight of ones there, the movements will not be uh, representing your old wounds and, and you reacting to them. This will be, I know my worth, I, I recognize who I am and I am applying this understanding in my life because now I see the whole picture, do you see? Let's look at that Ace of One. It's a brand new, uh, yeah, there we go, Lovers and Judgment. Um, that new way of doing things is kind of elevated. This is because everything that was hiding deep in Scorpio, this is Venus in Scorpio, Seven of Cups, okay? All those old wounds hidden in the deep waters of Scorpio that that gives the capacity to hurt oneself with our own wounds by projecting them. When you look at the judgment card, you see people rising from coffins. But when you look closely, uh, I don't know if I see it in there, but uh, in the right of weight, uh, those coffins are floating on the water because they were parts of us that were buried deep in the bottom of the water, uh, forgotten, pushed down in our unconscious, and all of that. Here they're rising and blocking our view uh, uncontrollably, just because Venus is there, and since she's enhancing love and abundance, everything that's preventing it will be bring, brought up. Here it is brought up by the trumpet of an angel. 
that angel that is here. Uh, that part of you that will be able to hear the trumpet of the angel. That sound, that vibration will reach the bottom of the sea and rise th those parts of you and bring them back to life so you can integrate them and so that they stop acting from behind, making you react, maybe be impulsive or, or whatever. You see the difference that is happening. This is shadow work in a way, you know. We all have parts of us that are down there. Uh, you're a kid, something happens, you feel rejected. It's too hard for the kid to deal with it. There's a part of your soul with that belief that is just put down into the depth of the shadow so that you, can, you don't have to deal with it, with your kid consciousness and heart and vulnerability. That's what judgment does. Judgment rises these parts. But with the vibration of the angel, of the divine, they can be healed and they can be reintegrated within you with that consciousness. All right? Here, lovers, it's becoming whole again. Let's look at that page of pentacle with that seven of cups. Seven of cups that used to influence uh, your drive before. Uh, well, yeah. So what, what it did, this was the devil. This was all in your shadow. And here, the knight of pentacle. Affecting the movement forward of what you want to plant, what you want to build in this life. If you look at the characters on the devil, you have the same man and woman, but the woman is not looking at the angel. She's looking at us. And the man is not looking at the woman, is looking at her genitals. It is very lowered, basic survival energy. Uh, and so all these old wounds coming up prevents us from getting out of the shadow and into the abundance. We are reacting and we are not seeing clearly what is in front of us, blocking the movement forward of our seed so we can grow and be in abundance. You are conscious of this at the beginning of the month. And... Uh, this month, I mean, geez, on the 4th and the 5th, we have the lunar eclipse in Capricorn. So that's probably why he came out almost in every sign. Uh, this is very, it's going to be very trans more transformative for you anyway. But I mean, you're going to be conscious of this at the beginning of the month. And... And it's going to right away make you finish that cycle. It's almost like, oh, I'm conscious of it. It's done. You know? Six of cups with that ace of pentacle. And now the eight of pentacle. So you are, uh, see, the wheel of fortune. This is going to go from seven of pentacle. I don't see any results. I don't get any fruits out of life to nine of pentacle. I am solid financially. There is results. Eight of pentacle plus the ace of pentacle. That's a nine of pentacle because I'm, I'm, I'm healing my heart chakra. Wheel of fortune. This is going to change the circumstances of your life. Your perception of life, what is coming towards you, all of that. You're taking a new path here anyway. A much more elevated path than what you have experienced in the past. The sun, it is going to be a luminous new path with the yes of the universe. With your inner child being super happy, enthusiastic, aiming high hermit following your truth with wisdom and ah, moving forward like that this is beautiful Pisces so 
closing a cycle so you can really move forward that there's there's the healing of the old wounds that were preventing you or even making you sabotage yourself by reacting to things or even making you attracted towards things that weren't good for you that were just repeating his same pattern of your old wounds and therefore blocking you from even being able to uh, bring the, your seed forward giving you stagnation so um, end of a cycle I'll call it end of a cycle I know it's not very attractive for a title but this is so complex that I would need to write a paragraph so anyway <laughs> on this my beautiful Pisces I'm gonna send you all my love and light and thank you so much for watching commenting it touches my heart the thumbs up and the subscribing and all of that that goes with youtube thank you so much helping the channel grow um if you want a private reading the description is below thank you for the ones of you that gave donations it helps more than you think new moon full moon i do a little something for you a ceremony to give you back and now that that moon is going to be with an eclipse so on the fourth watch for that because i think this is going to be like for all of you very decisive it's going to be a strong eclipse this one and um apart from that um i'm sending all my love and light to all of you that are dealing still with the pandemic with all the readjustment that is happening now in the world to let the light in to heal old wounds so that love can come in and light and consciousness and so that that can be our new reality mm. all right so on this all my love and light and i'll see you next month pisces all right